Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different. Now, I got asked a question in my last stream, how I was able to stream with my camera, um, with the stream looking semi-decent on YouTube and um, only having a 1060 graphics card while playing a set of course of Competizione all at the same time. Um, of course, for you guys that don't know, ACC runs extremely hard on your computer, so it was quite difficult for me to stream at first, especially on YouTube. The game just used to stutter, then the stream would lag crazy. Um, but I managed to find some settings that really do work for me personally. If you, again, if you are someone who has a lower end graphics card, um, I only have an i7, i7 processor as well, so my computer is not crazy by any stretch of the imagination. So um, I'm gonna get stuck into the settings and show you guys what I'm actually using. Some of it is on the OBS side, but most of it is actually in the in the game settings. It's, it's it's a pretty tricky one, but let's get stuck into the settings that I am using on OBS. Um, down to stream, you can see here streaming on YouTube. My output settings now. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you have somewhat decent internet. I have about 16 megabyte upload, so it's it's not too bad my uploads pretty good I actually might try and go up a little bit on the video bit rate but for now I'm keeping it at 6,000 I believe on YouTube you can go up to 9,000 and on Twitch I think the max is 6,000 so um, I may go up on this um, it just made more sense for me to actually stream to YouTube as that's where the majority of my fan base is but um, I'm actually using the x264 encoder and not the NVENC new now I did try NVENC new before when I was going on YouTube looking for all the settings to use um, to, to get a decent looking stream because I was so frustrated with my stream looking blurry and stuff but I've actually stuck to x264 because it just looks better it mainly just looks better it does run a little bit harder on your system but it definitely definitely does look better so that's what I'm running um, <clears throat> audio bit rate I, I don't think I've changed that's still on 192 and <clears throat> again if you look at the actual recording I do run the hardware NVENC for the recording side of things but I'll do that in a separate video how to get your videos to really really look sharp on YouTube because especially if you are a smaller YouTuber like I am when you do upload to YouTube your videos do tend to get downscaled quite a lot but I'll show you guys how to get away with that in another video if we hit 50 likes then I'll definitely make a video on that as well but anyway let's get to the important stuff which is we'll head over to the video tab and you can see my base canvas is 1920 by 1080 same as my output scale I'm using the Lanxus sharpen scaling 36 samples and 60 frames per second so you can see I'm pretty much maxing out on what I can in terms of quality um, other than that that's pretty much all we're doing in OBS in terms of the settings through there now one one thing I will recommend is when you are streaming on OBS is actually disable the preview window because again that's like you're, you're you're giving your computer extra work um running the preview window on while you're playing the game and streaming so i actually turn the preview window off while i'm streaming and also if you want to try you can also run obs in administrator mode which you know gives it the priority on your system or you can if you're struggling with the game on the game side of things if your game's stuttering a little bit then run the game in administrator mode and you know balance it between the two see which one really works for you but other than that the rest of the settings really are just in the game so so now on acc let's go over to the video settings and you can see now um we've actually taken the frame limit off normally what i was doing is i was running the frame limit on 60 frames per second i'm not too sure which one looks better at the moment but for me while i'm playing the game frame rate limit off looks pretty decent but i may test if it does still improve the game performance even more if i just lock it to 60 but um we'll try that at a later date the v-sync is actually disabled and as we scroll down for me the thing that made the most difference was actually the resolution scale and the resolution scale i think normally was on 100 we've turned it down to 80 percent and for me it made the performance of the stream as well much better when i had this up at 100 it just used to lag but of course if you if you downscale the resolution then you're not getting any of the sharp edges and it can look a little bit a little bit washed out a little bit blurry but um, we managed to fix it with some other settings but scrolling down now i'm just going to go through all the settings just by scrolling down we've turned the shadows to mid the shadow distance down to low um anti-aliasing anti is still on epic um, we've got a we still have a few things turned up our effects down to medium post-processing foliage um texture still pretty high 
and um, we've we've i think we've taken our mirror distance down a little bit and taken the mirror quality and resolution down obviously the mirrors really do kill um really do kill your computer when you have this up on high you really do need a pretty good graphics card but, um anyway let's keep scrolling down we've taken bloom quality completely off and we've disabled volumetric fog and i believe the thing we did change that made a massive difference and didn't make the game look terrible was we actually put the sharpness up and it's sort of you know combined with the resolution you take the resolution down put the sharpness up and it kind of brought the game back to how it was looking originally now it doesn't look that crazy how it would um if you was to you know put everything on epic but it still looks very good and especially for the stream it still definitely works as i keep scrolling down you can see we just made all these subtle changes and pretty much now i'm able to stream um 1080 60 frames per second no real issues um again if there's anything you guys want to try you may want to you know go further down on the resolution scale if you're struggling with that remember i said you can run the game in administrator mode if that's not working try and run the uh try and run obs in administrator mode you're going to need somewhat decent connection especially if you want to stream at um you know 60 6 6000 bit bit rate you're going to need a pretty decent internet connection i have about 16 uh, megabytes upload so i can pretty much stream at a higher bit rate and the stream still look good again you know guys it definitely is a trial and error thing especially with your own connections and your own pcs i don't know the specs of all you guys pcs but the good thing about streaming on youtube is you can actually do a private stream and this is what i did this is the something that i tend to use i do a private stream and i'll say i'll go into an online race and i'll just race normally and afterwards i'll check the private stream and see what the quality looked like and that's pretty much how i you know got to the settings and the, the sort of stage where i'm at now so i would suggest if you guys really want to maximize the potential of your computer while gaming while streaming do some private streams and um have a look at the quality and see what it looks like and anything you're not happy with if you want to go up or down in your bitrate just keep making minute changes and once you do manage to nail it then yeah definitely it's worth it but um yeah if you guys want to see me do a video of how to get your better quality on your youtube videos once you've uploaded them to youtube then yeah leave a like um definitely comment it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to hit my videos first and peace